Oh, hey there, guys. Uh, welcome to the channel. Just thought, I, thought I'd share uh, a couple of new uh, tools that I'm going to be using uh, going forward on the channel. I, uh, I decided to buy uh, by myself a, a new um, drill vise. I, I had one of these before. Uh, years ago, I used to use, use one for uh, Warhammer 40k uh, models and just other, uh, you know, finer uh, figures as well. And um, can't find it so I basically decided to buy uh, buy a new one here and uh, pick this one up of off of Amazon and uh, this comes with a number of uh, drill bits um, recently you know different sizes um, some really 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 fine ones and uh, yeah I'm doing this outside so it's probably not the, the most uh, ideal place to be doing this but uh, hopefully um, I don't drop anything and uh, but yeah the drill uh, itself is uh, some pretty pretty solid it's uh you know it's got it's nice and metal and it's got a little bit of weight to it so it's it's pretty good probably not not as nice as my uh, games workshop one that i had years ago but uh it's gonna hopefully uh do the job as you can see some of the uh, drill bits are quite small um which is really good and um and then you got some some good size ones in here as well So uh, these cars here, I got recently in a in a find uh, from a from an antique market, and uh, I really like this uh, this black car here. Um, thought it was really cool, like the whole front end, and then I saw the Roadster. Uh, I think they were actually in the same bag together, and I thought, well, maybe let's see what happens if you just kind of um, you know kind of cut cut up the front end of the Roadster. And also parts of this uh, this black car here, and um, you know, see if you can give the uh, uh, you know the uh, the roadster a, a new a new engine or a, or a cool looking engine I should say by uh, by cutting off the front end and then just kind of marrying it with uh, with the um, with this uh, motor setup here. So yeah, so I got this uh, saw um, off of Amazon as well, and uh, it's actually a jeweler's uh, saw, and uh, I didn't have one of these. I, I thought I did, but uh, I basically just have like similar hacksaws, and uh, they're not not gonna do what I want to do with this. Um, basically, I want to use the combination of the drill vise and this to, um, you know, be able to drill out hoods, um, trunks, doors you name it, and uh, have a, a much uh, finer cut than using a, a Dremel, So, which which I have been using for a number of uh, months now. So um, this is going to help make some, uh, some better looking um, 
conversions uh, going forward. Just uh, I'll just need some practice, I'm sure. And uh, you know what better way to start but uh, show you what uh, what I do on a on, with it with the, these two cars. Once you get the blade uh, set up and you know and pretty tight, um, you know I basically got uh, you know this how I I'm trying to figure out like how I want to lay this out and um, you know where where the cut's going to be. So conveniently enough, the uh, this roadster has like a has a line uh, that's a perfect uh, area to start with. So you want to just kind of start you know kind of scoring it a, a little bit you know just like you would you know kind of cutting wood basically just kind of start into it um, you know and kind of work back and forth um, I did find that um, you know kind of going on the solid side is uh, maybe not really a good method you want to go on the, the like a smaller whatever the, the the smallest end is and start there so like a, the, like the very bottom of the car I just started on one side and just started slicing it and it kind of goes through like uh, like butter really um, you can start uh, once you kind of get going, it it, uh, it actually cuts fairly quickly. So I was pretty pleased with uh, how, how the result is. I think just a little bit more practice, but um, and maybe even like a, a finer blade would be would be better if I'm say cutting a, a door or something like that. But as you can see here, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, working pretty quickly. So um, I kind of like this actually in a way, a little faster than uh, using a Dremel. So that's, uh, that's really good. As you can see, it uh, cuts really, really well. Um, you know, so I'm quite, quite pleased with it. Uh, that means that I can really start uh, hacking up some, some other uh, models that that I've uh, been kind of planning on working on. And this is obviously just like more practice than anything. But you know, I'm gonna actually make something out of this too. So, um, and as you know uh, by now, I'm I'm pretty good at uh, why well, I, I should say I, I enjoy, um, you know, kit bashing as as, as much as I can. So I thought, well, let's see what it looks like to uh, combine these two, um, you know, uh, cars together and make a new one. So um, I think this looks really cool, actually. So, but uh, it's missing, um, you know, one one key piece. It's missing, um, you know, the, uh, I guess the engine, like the valve covers from, uh, from the original car. So we're gonna have to, um, grab that and uh, see what we can do to start uh, start cutting it. So let's see how um, the saw works on plastic, um, which actually, yeah, this body was, was made out of plastic. So it took me seconds to basically cut that. Um, and uh, it works out really well because, I mean, if I use a Dremel, it would just make a bit of a mess uh, for both sides. So I can actually, in a way, reuse um, you know, either part, um, if I choose to do so, I can end up uh, making a nice fine cut and uh, being able to keep that part in a parts bin or something like that to, for use for later on. So um, anyways, yeah, I mean, little, uh, just some little uh, quick assembly to see how it fits. Um, actually, in this case, the uh, the post of the, uh, the Ford body um, fits right inside the uh, the original chassis, like right on this chassis, like no problem. So, um, but I'm thinking about, you know, changing the uh, the tires and uh, doing some other mods as well. So uh, that's not gonna really work. Um, so let's try the, uh, the I guess the pen vise. Um, really, I'm just going to put in just a couple of dents. I just kind of do a little practice here. I'm not gonna go all the way through, but because uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing with the body uh, itself. I, I actually am considering keeping this, uh, the paint job on it. So I really kind of want to leave it as is for now and uh, start modifying the rest of the car. And uh, maybe at the end, just leave this, uh, this body painted exactly the way it is right now. Cause I think it's uh, more than fine and I really like the flames. So I really don't want to mess this up. I, th I think it looks pretty cool as, as it is. Anyway, so I just wanted to share a couple of, uh, of these tools with you guys. Um, highly recommend uh, you add them to your toolbox as well if you haven't done so already. And uh, 
stay tuned for uh, some, for more how-to guides and thanks for stopping by.